What's up guys, my name is Rob, thanks for stopping by my channel. Real quick today we're going to do an update on my Chinese bead roller and how I've updated it. I did a few things to it uh, since my last video on it that I wanted to share, mostly enclosure and kind of tidying stuff up. But um, yeah, it's finished now and I'm really happy with it and I just wanted to show you. Check it out. Okay, now there is uh, another video I have on this bead roller and it's a lot more in depth as far as um, my thoughts and quality of it and it j just kind of Chinese bead rollers in general. If you want to see that, um, I'll link it up top. So just click on that. That's kind of a part one. I don't really want to call this a part two, but I guess it sort of is a part two. But anyways, this is the... The, the final iteration of this thing. So what what you can see here is 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 it. This is this is how I've wrapped it up. This is the the finished product. Um, most notably is probably that electronics enclosure. So uh, that in, the electronics enclosure is actually um, that cable box. Like when like Time Warner cable puts cable into your house. This is a box that they throw on the outside of it. The reason I went with that is because it happened to be the perfect size and I was actually outside of my shop. Here, I'll show you. Like right there, it's right there. That's it right there. So I was outside one day and I was looking at that thing and I'm like, dude, that is like the perfect size. And I opened it up and I got my tape measure out and I was looking at everything. I was like, that thing's perfect. So I hop online and I start looking at electronics enclosures and dude, some of them are really ridiculously expensive for a plastic box. This plastic box, however, was $20. So this plastic box is the plastic box that I bought. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's open up. So okay, from the front, you can, you can kind of see, obviously this is uh, a three-way rocker switch. It's just reverse, forward, and then the rheostat is off focus, and then you can ramp it up. So if we open it up and take a look here, what I've got, and, oh, and a bonus is like this stuff. I mean, come on, that's super easy for running the wires in. You don't even have to like do any kind of like bulkhead grommet deals or anything like that. It's just slip them in there and you're done. So over here, speed controller, rheostat, and power switch and reverse switch, and then the power supply is over there. And by it fits perfect, I mean it fits freaking perfect. So yeah, that box is is the jam. So we'll crank it on and put it in the forward speed and. This is just an electronic foot switch, and you can see it works. You crank it up, turn it off, you can reverse it, crank it up and down. Yeah, so there's one more feature that this power supply or this speed controller has. Um, oh, it's just on there with like double sided sticky tape, but it's like falling off. Um, is this, uh, let's see if I can get it out here there is a display let's see if it'll power up yeah and i was going to cut a window here but that number is like totally arbitrary it's zero to 100 in percent of basically where the real stat is set so if the real stats all the way open you get 100 percent if it's you know barely on you get one or whatever i mean i'll probably do it in the future just because it'll look cool sitting there but really if i just look at it i know that down is off and i'm gonna label i'm gonna put some labels on here down is off you know that's all the way i'll just put a 100 here and a 50 there and then i'll know where it's at I, there's really no need for it and i wasn't sure i could do it cleanly anyways just because of the way that that um that little screen is there's like no way to mount it cleanly. Anyways, so here's what we're working with. This is just some angle iron. I welded it to my motor adapter plate. And another thing I've done since the last video is I stiffened the back up. So this thing does not flex now. Before, like the top and the bottom plate would like walk away from each other. It doesn't do that anymore at all. So I get a really well-defined bead out of it. Look at the other one and you just kind of are wondering, hey, what's he got going on here? This is what I got going on. This is a small like ATV winch uh, from um, Harbor Freight, just a Chinese winch. And then these cables, these longer cables came with the kit. And then I sourced the box, the speed controller and the power supply from uh, Amazon. There's going to be links in the description. If you're interested in that, just go ahead and click on them. Um, that will help me out, by the way. Uh, and then that down there, scrapyard find. It was like a dollar. It didn't work when I got it. I took it apart, filled with it. Works great. So that's really all I got. And then 
what I did is I made this file here for uh, this motor. Um, if guys are interested in this, I can, I do still have the file. Um, I can, I can probably drop it on Thingiverse or um, some other hosting site somewhere, and you guys can can cut it out if you want. Um, it's uh, it's. It's a really simple file. Basically all it does is it picks up the factory locations of the mounting points for the winch and it's like super adjustable here on this side for the bead roller. And all these bead rollers are kind of the same. So if you, this is a Woodward Fab, but if you have like the Harbor Freight edition or you know whatever else edition, they're all the same really. So that shouldn't be a problem, that should work. If you're interested in that, let me know. We can, we can put that up somewhere and you guys can have access to it as well. Anyways, this this is it quick little video that's mounted it works awesome on off reverse rheostat foot clicky switch it works rolling beads making parts handle uh is off of a mill that i had laying around um what else yeah like i said any more in-depth stuff that you guys want to know check my other video i link it up top or down below or both i don't know all right guys that's it uh final iteration of my little bead roller here got it all tidied up thought maybe you'd want to see it um in its final state because i'm super duper happy with that for the price i think in the electronics and everything like so in like the motorized side of it i probably have i don't know 120 bucks in motorizing it so it's not bad at all totally doable uh there's 110 different ways to motorize these things i'm not sure what the best way is i know this way works really well the reason i went with a winch motor is because it's a small motor and high torque and it runs through material no problem so that's why i went this way again um links in the description below for uh the speed controller the uh, power supply that box and I'll even link the, uh, the bead roller as well. I'm sure that's um, something that, um, well, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in it. So yeah, check it out. Thanks guys, peace.